March Madness is here, and one of the local teams with dreams of making the NCAA tournament is a program not associated with a big dance. But this year, the Fordham Rams are on the verge of making it. CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer with more on why this season is different. Fordham basketball practice is energetic and deafening. They got to be high energy. Yes, sir, because that's the type of style of team we are, type of style of play we have. Um, and that's what we try to accomplish on the court. So it's got to bring it in practice because how you practice is how you play. At the core of that energy is head coach Keith Ergo. I'm one of 10 children. I mean, you got to be energetic. Very competitive household with nine boys and one girl. So I just kind of, you know, and I'm not the biggest of guys. So, you know, I needed to bring a lot of energy and toughness when I played sports. You know, if I'm going to ask them to bring the energy and I don't bring it myself, it's kind of fraudulent. He's led them to the greatest Fordham season in more than 30 years. Two years ago, the Rams won just two games. They're 24 and seven this year. They go into every game believing they're gonna win regardless of who they play. How important is that? That's extremely important. That mentality, that characteristic, I don't think it's been here before. Ergo's success in the Bronx has earned him the A-10 Coach of the Year. He's given the team an identity centered around unity and effort. Playing as together as you possibly can. We're not the most talented team, but I believe we are the most together. Our guys know that, and collectively, if we stick together and stick to what we're capable of doing, which is playing extremely hard and physical on the defensive end and using our depth, we're going to be able to compete with anybody. This team was expected to be one of the worst in the conference this year, which is crazy. But this is March, and it does bring out the madness. In the Bronx, Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News. Fordham starts the A-10 tournament tomorrow night at the Barclays Center.